welcome back to my channel so today we are kicking off a one week one palette with this sydney grace tiny marvels palette i love this palette i am so excited to be using it all of this week the shades are stunning before we get started don't forget to upload every tuesday thursday saturday and sunday for you guys if you like this video while you're watching it please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up it really does help my channel out and other than that if you're excited and you want to see a five different looks with the tiny marvels palette then let's go ahead and get started so this beautiful palette right here is in collaboration with Cindy Grace and Mel Thompson. If you do not know who Mel Thompson is, she was a beautiful YouTuber here on YouTube, obviously. She had a beauty channel page. Unfortunately, and very, very sadly, she passed away towards the end of 2021. She had talked kind of openly on her page, on her channel, about being sick and having health issues. But I think that her passing came as a really, really huge shock to the beauty community. I don't think any of us actually saw that coming. I'm going to go ahead and have this palette linked down below for you guys, the Sydney Grace website. I am not sure entirely what's going on with that. I know for a while there they were having a pre-sale for it and kind of restocking it and all the proceeds were going to go to her family. But when I just checked before starting to film this, it says add to wish list. So it doesn't look like it's in stock or they're taking pre-orders right now. I'm not sure what's happening with that. I don't know if they're going to bring it back in the future or anything like that, but I will definitely have a link down below for you in case you are curious and you want to check it out. I'm also going to have Mel's YouTube channel linked down below for you guys to check out. As of right now, all of her videos are still up. You are still able to watch and support. And again, that AdSense money does go to her family. So I'm going to have all of that information linked down below for you guys to check out in case you want to. I couldn't start this video without saying rest in peace, Mel. We miss you. You are a beautiful part of the beauty community and we miss you and I'm so glad that we have this beautiful palette to always remember you by. So I went ahead on my community tab and I asked for suggestions on one week one palettes. I said that with my new bank job I kind of have a little bit more free time to film these one week one palettes so I'm hoping I can get up a little bit more for you guys. I had a like goal in 2021 to do one at least once a month and I did not reach that goal. I want to say I put up seven or eight last year so i did not reach that goal of doing one a month but i still feel proud that i put up i think seven or eight i can't remember the exact number i'll have my playlist linked down below in case you want to check it out and you want to watch any of my other one week one palette videos so i went ahead and asked on my community tab for palette suggestions of palettes you want to see these types of videos on and this was like my number one requested palette if you do not know what the inside of this beautiful palette looks like here it is cindy grace's formulation is like my favorite eyeshadow formulation ever it is absolutely stunning it's like the best formulation ever it's kind they're kind of pricey their palettes are kind of pricey but 1 million percent worth it so again i'm super excited to dive into this palette this week honestly we're gonna do a really simple look today i think i'm only gonna use like two shades sorry but we're gonna start off with this one right here which is called jewel b it is a stunning purple shade and we're just gonna kind of put this shade everywhere i'm gonna do a halo eye but i want the focus the focal point of the eye to be this really beautiful purple shade it's like stunning because it's a little bit more of a lilac-y light purple but you can build it up and it is just a really really pretty shade but yeah this was definitely my number one requested palette you guys wanted to see this for sure which i could not be happier about because i like i said i love this palette i love sydney grace's formulation so i was very happy you guys wanted to see this one first so we got that in the crease now i'm gonna go to a smaller brush and we're gonna start packing it on the inner and outer portions and also up into the crease as well. I was kind of surprised that quite a few of the suggestions were older palettes. I just kind of always assume you guys want to see like the newest new makeup, which I know is not true. I've had quite a few people comment on like shop my stashes and that kind of stuff using older makeup videos that they enjoy seeing older makeup being used. So I don't know why I was so shocked to see quite a few older palettes being suggested. Like the ABH Norvina palette, which is definitely older. Somewhat, a couple people asked for the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And that's been out like for like four or five years at this point. So I don't know if I'll end up doing that one because there's not a ton of like variation. I like to pick palettes that are big enough for me to do five different looks. I don't want to have five looks that are very, very similar. So that's why I don't usually pick quads. I don't usually pick palettes that have a really monochromatic sort of color story to them because I don't want all of the looks to be similar. You know what I mean? But I don't know. A couple of people asked for that's taupe which is like my favorite eyeshadow palette at the moment, but like all those shades are so similar. But I can understand why people want to see that because they want to see like five, I guess, wearable looks. I don't know. I don't know. 
but I just was a little surprised. All right, next I'm gonna put glitter primer in the middle of my eye, and we're going to take this web shade up here in the corner. It's just a really pretty champagne-y sort of shade, and we're gonna put that in the middle. We're going back in with the purple to really make sure there's no harsh lines. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks good. I might add a brown wing. I haven't fully decided yet. You will definitely see once I come back with my completed makeup. But I think that's where I want to keep the eye there for now. I like I like the pop of like the champagne in the middle of the lid. I think it's very pretty. And this purple shade is just chef's kiss. So I am going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. And I will be back in one second to show you the final look for day one. And here is the final look for day one. Let me get a little bit closer for you guys so you can see. I'm not gonna lie, it's not my favorite look I've ever done with this palette, but I do really like it. I feel like I'm just maybe a little bit out of practice putting makeup on. I haven't been wearing it a ton the last four or five days. Um, so I feel like I'm just a little bit out of practice. But to finish up the eyes, all I did was ran that Jewel B shade along my lower lash line, and then I used that web shade as my inner corner, and I opted out of a brow bone highlight. I did go ahead and decide to add the brown wing liner like I mentioned and I went ahead and used my Benefit Roller Liner in the brown shade. The rest of my makeup was for primer, my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Primer all over my face and then in my T-zone I used my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. For foundation I used my YSL All Hours Foundation. Concealer was my Shiseido. This is their uh, Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer. I have the shade 101 Fair. I set down my whole face with the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. Then for bronzer I used my L'Oreal True Match Lumi a bronze it bronzer for highlight i use my hourglass this is their ambient lighting powder in the shade luminous light i have not used this for a highlight in a very very long time i don't love it for a highlight but that's all right and then for blush i use my pat mcgrath blush in the shade of flirtatious brows was my winky Lux unibrow i believe yeah unibrow pencil and my benefit 24 hour brow setter mascara was my rare beauty perfect strokes mascara for lips, I went ahead and filled in my whole lips with my KKW Beauty Nude One Liner. Then I used my Huda Beauty Impress like cream lipstick all over on top of that. And then to set it all down, I used my Jason Wu Magic Spell Setting Spray. That was everything for day one. You guys know the drill by now. I will see you in a second for day two. If for some reason today my eyes look extra puffy and I look extra tired, it's because I am. For some reason, I could not fall asleep last night to save my life. I am literally running on like three, four hours of sleep. But we are going to start off with, um, I think I'm going to mix together Tree Hopper right here in Walk and Stick. And we're just going to lightly throw this into our crease. Really buff it out, make sure there's no harsh lines. So today and the rest of the three other days, I am working. Um, I'm going to film before work. So I've had people suggest and ask for like, bank appropriate work appropriate looks which i can totally make videos on that but i just kind of wanted to say my boss my manager is like really chill and really cool and i really don't think she would care <laughs> what makeup i came to work in we're now going to take death moth right here and we're going to put that on the outer corner and up into the crease as well to deepen it like don't get me wrong i do tend to stick to more quote unquote wearable <laughs> looks for work but if i did go a little i don't know out of the ordinary or anything like that I don't think that she would really care which is nice <laughs> but anyways the point of me saying that is that these next couple of days might be a little bit more wearable I don't know if I'm going to get into this beautiful green mantis shade because of that because I am working which makes me really sad because that shade is beautiful that was one of the reasons I did the purple look yesterday because I wasn't working so that's looking good nice and blended that blended together effortlessly I've been filming for like three minutes and I think I was blending my shadow for like a minute of that. That's how quick it just blends together. It's so nice. So for the lid for today though, the shimmer we're going to focus on is this BB shade right here. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I've ever used this shade. I usually am not typically someone who likes to go in with this super, super gold of a shade. If I'm going to go in with a gold, I like one that's a little bit more lighter, more champagne -y gold, if that makes sense. And this is like yellow gold. So I, I don't know, I might end up topping this web shade on top of it just to tone it down. We'll see how it looks on its own. We're gonna put some NYX glitter primer on the inner half of my eye. And we're just going to tap this BB shade. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a stunning shade, like beautiful. And if you like yellowy gold shades, almost, I, I, don't, 
I don't want to say it like it has a hint of green, but it kind of skews a tiny bit green. So if you like this type of golds, you'll love this shade and you'll love this look. I personally just don't like these type of golds on me, but that's okay. I wanted to use it for you guys. And I just, like I said, I don't think I've ever used it. So I am going to go ahead and take that web shade and just tap it on top just to see if I can tone this down a little bit. Yeah, okay, that's helping tone it down. I think I'm going to like it a lot better like that. We're going to go back in with Death Moth and re-emphasize this outer corner. And then Tree Hopper and Walking Stick. Ooh, okay. Is this like a really simple, plain eye look? Yes, but like I said, your girl is going to work and she's very tired. So the creative juices are not flowing this morning. Um, I'm going to go do the other eye, do the rest of my makeup, chug this coffee, try to wake me up, and I'll be back in a minute to show you the final look. And here's the finished look for day two. I'm going to zoom in, let you see a little bit closer. I definitely enjoy this gold a ton better since I layered that web shade on top of it. I just wanted to say that that's kind of like a tip for you guys. If there is a shadow in a palette that you're not completely vibing with and loving, you can layer things on top of each other. Makeup has literally zero rules. Contrary to what some people may say in the comment section, you can do whatever you want. You can use blush as eyeshadow. You can put concealer on before skin tint. You can layer eyeshadow. Makeup has zero rolls you do you boo but to finish up my lower lash line all i did was mix together that tree hopper and walk and stick shade and then i did use web as my inner corner and brow bone highlight i'm not gonna lie i use pretty much all the same products as yesterday so sorry if that is a little bit boring but you will see in my tomorrow's video why i'm focusing on them so much <laughs> and then also um i just really liked how my makeup looked at the end of yesterday i was really happy with how it wore so i wanted to wear these products again because i got like an eight hour shift at the bank today so primers was ColourPop pretty fresh and elf poreless putty foundation was my all hours and my shiseido concealer set it all down with my beauty bakery flower powder then i use my l'oreal lumi bronzer for a highlight though, I use my Becca Champagne Pop Gold Gold. I love pairing this highlight with like a gold look. And then for cheeks, I actually use the Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Cheek to Chic. that's kind of hard to say, uh, blush in the shade Walk of No Shame. It's very deep and dark and berry. I have to go in with a very light hand, but I think it's a really pretty blush shade. And I actually really like this formulation. So I'm like, hmm, do I need to buy more Charlotte Tilbury blushes? Brows were my Winky Lux Unibrow and my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. For mascara, I used my Essence Lash Princess. Then for lips, I used my BK Beauty Everlast Lip Liner in the shade Warm Spice. I put it all over my entire lips and then topped it with my Fenty Beauty Fussy Lip Gloss. And then lastly, to set it all down, I used my Urban Decay D Slick. And here is one last look at day two. It is a very simple, basic, a little bit boring sort of look, but I actually really do like how it looks. I think it's elegant and pretty and that gold shade layered with that web shade on top I think is just a really pretty shade so you know the drill I'll be back in one second for day three it's day three and you guys I slept so much better last night I'm in such a better mood way more energy I'm pumped also I went ahead and primed my eyes with my Shiseido concealer because yesterday I used my MAC paint pot you guys my eyeshadow got creasy it just like creased and like completely almost came off in my cre the crease of my eye and my mac paint pot has been doing that to me recently it happened in my like new year's eve get ready with me and then a couple other times like kind of off camera it looks fine when i first apply it and then for some reason by the end of the day it is like so creasy and I it has never done that to me before but someone mentioned in my new year's eve video that uh paint pots can do that if they get a little bit older and mine is like almost a year old or over a year old i think almost a year old but it's like what the heck but i don't know i use concealer today and then set it down with powder so hopefully it will help and not get as creasy i'll let you guys know tomorrow i guess all righty well later in the video but tomorrow to me all right so for today i want to stick with like this shade right here and this shade but i'm trying to decide what transition shade to use because it's so funny like the first base layer transition shade really can completely change the look i either want to go with flutter by or this one right here which is called love bug um but like this one make it a little bit peachier this one make it a little bit more purpley i think i'm gonna go with love bug yeah i think i'm gonna do that we're just going to start by putting this into the crease oh yeah i'm glad i went with that shade I'm not gonna lie though, it's looking a little bit more like berry tone, almost a little bit more red tone on my eye than it does in the pan. Like I feel like in the pan it looks way more cool tone and purple and it's looking way more like warm and berry on my eye. Not the end of the world, just a little weird. 
All right, next we're gonna take this bugaboo shade and put it on my outer portion and up into my crease. It's gonna be a really similar like eye placement, shadow placement as yesterday's look. Sorry about that. But when you have a shadow placement that looks good for your eye shape, you know, you just kind of like do what you know is gonna look good. <laughs> I really love this shade. I feel like it's really unique in my collection because it is more of that like burgundy shade, but it's got like a hint of purple, but it's like deep and dark, like a dark chocolatey smoky brown. I don't know, I feel like this shade is really unique. And honestly, I feel like this palette is really unique in my collection. There are a lot of shades like that in here, but I feel like I don't have anything else like it in my collection, which like, way to go Mel. Like, can you imagine creating an eyeshadow palette when there's a billion eyeshadow palettes out there on the planet and creating one that really truly honestly has unique shades and colors like she's amazing also Cindy grace i mean i know i've said this before but you guys the quality of their eyeshadows are just superb oh yeah okay let's get a little bit darker and smokier than i maybe anticipated but uh we're just gonna take that first shade and try to blend and diffuse this out we're just gonna have a smoky eye going on at the bank today. That's all right. <laughs> all right, if I wasn't going to work today, honestly, I would take this Scarab, Scarab shade, I don't know how to pronounce that, and I would put that on. Can you imagine this beautiful duochrome, like purpley green sort of shade? Could you imagine that on here? Oh, that would be a stunning, just like deep, vampy, smoky eye. But uh, I am, I'm working at the bank today and I just don't feel like being that dramatic. You know what I mean? So if you wanted to recreate this look and you wanted a really dramatic sort of look, that's what I would do. That's what I want to do. I want to do that. And again, if I wasn't working, I would. But instead we're gonna go with this beautiful Marvel shade. It will be a pretty look nonetheless. Next glitter primer. So anybody says mattes are good, but where they shine, is their shimmers. It's kind of like Pat McGrath. Well, Cine Grace's mattes are way better than Pat McGrath, if I'm being honest, but where both of those brands really take the cake are in their shimmers and all of that because they are just mm, stunning. Oh man, I love that. I really wish I could have put that other shade on though. I think that would have been so pretty. I'm gonna have to recreate that look in another like get ready with me or recreate it when I'm just like filming, like maybe not filming myself get ready, but filming another video after that, does that make sense? <laughs> that looks good, I like that. I'm going to do the other eye, the rest of my makeup, and then I will come back in a second to show you the finished look. And here is the final look for day three. I do like how this look turned out, I do. But like I said earlier, I really, really would have preferred to put this shade on my lid. I just think that would have looked so cool, but that's all right. That's all right. I'll recreate that look another time. To finish up my lower lash line, all I did was mix together that Bugaboo and Love Bug shade. And then I used Web as my inner corner and brow and highlight. The rest of my makeup is my Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer, my YSL All Hours Foundation, my Shiseido Concealer. Set it all down with my Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. Rides up with my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzer. For highlight, I use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle. And then for blush, I use the Essence The Blush in the shade Believing. I just thought it matched the eyes perfectly. Brows are Winky Lux and Benefit. For mascara, I use my Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. For lipstick, I use my Makeup by Mario Lipstick in the shade Erin. I would have preferred something a little bit more berry tone for this look, but honestly, I'm not done getting ready for work anyway, so it's coming off as soon as I'm done filming. And then lastly, to set it all down, I use my Catrice Prime and Fine Anti-Shine Fixing Spray. This is their matte finish one. So overall, I really do like how this look turned out. I'm excited for the next two days to finish up this week with this palette. I just love this palette so so much so i will see you in a second for day four we're back for day four and as you can see i'm starting off with my elf line and define eye tapes i do not think they're even but i have it taken them on and off like three separate times uh so we're just going with this for now we are gonna get into this fire butts shade today which is like one of the most beautiful shades in the palette whenever anyone talks about this palette they always mention this beautiful green silver intense shade and it is stunning. But before that, we are going to start off with Tree Hopper and put that in our crease. Update on the concealer for eye primer yesterday. I feel like it definitely creased less than my MAC Paint Pot. It still creased a tiny bit, like right up in the actual crease of my eye. But for the most part, I feel like it wore a lot better. So I went ahead and primed my eyes again today with my Shiseido concealer. We're just going to use that for now. I do have the NARS light one, like tinted light one 
um, in my Ulta cart. I may have to pick that up soon. All right, that's a little bit warmer than I wanted. So we're gonna go to this walk and stick shade and just kind of put that on top. Yeah, there we go. It's cooling it down a little bit. Then we're gonna take my NYX glitter primer and put that all over the lid and we're taking that fire butt shade also all over the lid. This definitely is like a green shade, but I feel like it's a little bit more quote unquote wearable of a green shade than like green, <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause it is such a light, pretty, almost pastel, I don't know, silvery green. Oh, this is one of my favorite shades in this palette. I love it. And I don't even mind if it gets up into the crease a little bit. I kind of want this shade everywhere. All right, next I'm going to take Death Moth and the tiniest little tap of this spider shade right here. We're going to just kind of smudge out a wing. I don't want it to be like too intense of a wing or anything like that. I just kind of want it to be a smudge smoky sort of wing. And then I am gonna take a tiny bit of this Death Moth shade and put that into my crease just to deepen the crease up a little bit, define it a little bit more. And then back in with walking stick. Trying to decide if that wing is smudgy enough. I think so. It's just like this outer corner. I can't get it right. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted. I just wanted like a really soft, almost blown out sort of wing. I didn't want it to be defined hardly at all. And it's definitely not. It's definitely like barely there, which is what I wanted. So that's it guys. Another simple eye look. That's like uh, what I'm good at. That's all I know how to do. <laughs> so, you know, drill. I'm gonna do the other eye, the rest of my makeup. I'll be right back. And here is the final look for day four. I really, really like how it turned out. I think it's really pretty. I love this fire butt shade. So like I kind of had an inkling that I was going to like this look. To finish up the look, all I did was run that walk-in stick shade along my lower lash line and use web as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. We got quite a bit of repeats for the rest of my makeup that I've been using pretty much all this week. And at first I thought, you know, I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be repeating my makeup every day because it's like boring for you guys to watch. But then I thought about it and I was like, Emily, not everyone has like 30 foundations and 40 blushes and all that. A lot of people out there use the same foundation, concealer, blush, bronzer. Well, I didn't use the same blush, but a lot of people use the same makeup every day. That's like normal. It's not normal to have this much makeup. So then I thought, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. So for a primer, I use my ColourPop Pretty Fresh all over and then my e.l.f. Poreless Putty in my T-Zone. Foundation was YSL. Uh, concealer was a Shiseido. Set it all down with my Beauty Bakery Flower Powder Bronzer. L'Oreal Lumi, but then highlight was my Nabla Ozone highlight, and then blush was my M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow blush in the shade Venetian Rose. Bras were Winky Luxe and Benefit. Mascara was Essence Lash Princess. Lips were my Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lip Pencil in the shade Noah, and then my Huda Beauty Empress lipstick on top, and then lastly, I set it all down with my Jason Wu Magic Spell Setting Spray. I feel like this is probably my favorite look of the four so far, but again, I just am in love with this green shade. Yes, it's green but I just feel like it's a little bit more wearable like I feel comfortable wearing this to the bank which I have to work after this so that's a good thing uh but yeah that is all for day four we're almost done guys we only got one more day left so I will see you in a second for day five and we're back for our last day I'm not gonna lie I'm sad I love this palette and I'm kind of sad that I won't be using it every day anymore but for today we're gonna stick with the more peachy tones I'm gonna use this Flutter by Shade first as a transition shade. So we're just going to lightly dust this into the crease. By the end of this look, I will have used every single shade but this green mantis shade and this like pretty scara, I really don't know how to pronounce that, shade. So I feel good about that. I would have liked to use them all for you, but hey, work. <laughs> we have a guest this morning, Butterscotch. He's gonna go for the plant like he always does. <sighs> Alrighty, now I'm gonna try to do the technique that I like to do with Pat McGrath mats, where I take a shade, fluff it through the crease, and then take the same shade and pack it on and try to make it look like almost two separate shades. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try. So we're gonna take that Flutter by shade again, and we're gonna pack it on the inner and outer portion. And then up into the crease a little bit. Oh yeah, that's totally working. I guess it's not just Pat McGrath shades I can do this with. <laughs> Really make sure there's no harsh lines here. Tap a tiny bit of glitter primer in the middle. And then we're gonna take this beautiful Meadow Hawk shade here. It's like a peachy with a gold reflect to it. Oh, it's stunning. 
that is really pretty. I am going to take it on a brush and wet it with my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Mist just to see if we can, I don't know, intensify it, make it like more poppy and punchy. I am going to deepen the inner and outer portions just a smidge with this Death Moth shade. It kind of looks like all one tone right now because the matte and the shimmer are fairly similar. All right, there we go. I like that. It's subtle, but it's there. Um, yeah, okay, we're gonna leave the eyes there for now. I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup. I'll be right back. And here is the final look for day five. I really, really like how this one turned out. I think it's just really simple and pretty, and I like the peachy, orangey tones. It reminds me a little bit of spring, even though it's January and cold and windy and winter. But to finish up my lower lash line, all I did was ran a little bit of that flutter by along my lower lash line, and then, you know, web as my inner corner and brow and highlight. The rest of my makeup was my Tatcha, the liquid silk canvas for my primer. I then used my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter on the high points of my face, topped it with my dose of Colors Meet Your Hue foundation. I have the shade 105 Fair. My Shiseido Concealer, I set it all down with my Beauty Bakery Flower. I used my L'Oreal Lumi Bronzer Bronzer. Then for highlight, I used my MAC Soft and Gentle. For blush, I used my Pat McGrath. This is her uh, Skin Fetish Divine Blush in the shade Nymphette. I thought that this shade was so perfect with the eyes and it has a little bit of hint of gold and it's just, it like matches the eyeshadow in the middle perfectly but in blush form. Brows for Winky Luxe and Benefit. Then for mascara, I use my Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes. For lips, I aligned my lips with my ColourPop BFF lip liner and then put my Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW lipstick on in the middle. And then lastly, to set it all down, I used my Urban Decay D Slick. And there you have it guys, one week one palette with the Cindy Grace Tiny Marvels palette. Thank you so much for suggesting that I use this palette this week. I had so much fun playing with it. I just love this palette. I love the color story. I love the tones. I love of the quality just everything about it is just amazing mel thompson and cindy grace did such a great job on this palette i cannot rave about it enough i'm like i said in the beginning of the video i'm gonna have the website linked down below cindy grace's website so maybe possibly you can get your hands on this if you haven't already again i'm not sure what's going on with it if they're gonna restock it or anything like that hopefully they do because everyone needs to get their hands on this palette because it is so stinging good don't forget to let me know down in the comments below which of the five looks was your favorite. I thought yesterday was going to be my favorite. And as I was doing this eye look, I wasn't like fully in love with it. But the whole finished look, I actually really, really enjoy. I think it's springy and pretty and I don't know, I really like it. So yesterday or today, but let me know down below which one was your favorite. Other than that, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome. I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.